It's not a party, ma'am. It's just a few friends hanging out. Yeah, I'll be back at the site before 10, I promise. Yeah, I know how to lock the gates. Look, I've got to go. Hey. Hey. Can I wait for tonight? What are you wearing? I don't know yet. I've got a few options. Can I come get ready at yours? Um, my mum's not very well. I don't think she'd want any visitors. You used that excuse last time. When are you going to let me come to your house? Oh, I left me clip in the car, Mum. Kick her today, Lizzie. It won't matter. All right. I'm Casey. I'm one of the Buckleys. Oh, my husband's related to the Buckleys. Okay, yeah, well, I'm one of the teaching assistants here. Um, I'm here to make sure Lizzie finds a way. So, hey, I've got some forms for you to fill out if you want to come through. Yeah. I wonder, do all parents feel this much miver? It's not perfect here, but we're always trying to make things better. I just can't help but worry that I'm opening the child up to stereotypes before the teachers have even got to know her. Well, look, I'm always going to be here to talk to. The more the school knows about Lizzie, the better. It helps us plan and support. Teachers know it motivates kids to see their ethnicity reflected. Plus, having Lizzie here, well, that gives us another opportunity to celebrate Traveller History Month with the other students, right? You settle down now? We have someone new in our class today, Lizzie Butler. Lizzie, would you like to say a few words about yourself? Um, yeah, okay. Um, me mum and dad just moved here, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you live before you moved here? Well, lots of places, to be honest. We travelled all over the place. We was in Cambridge, Lincoln, Sheffield, mainly Birmingham. But now we're going to be staying here for good. We just moved out of a trailer into a house in Malvern. Oh, I see. So you're ex-travellers? Well, no, miss. We are travellers. Dad says it's more about your ethnicity. Just because you live in a house don't make you no more or less. You are what you are. Yeah, right. Where's your big fat gypsy caravan and horses then? That's enough <laughs> now, Jenny. It was only a joke. Ow. I'll meet you at lunch. Try not to catch anything from the pikey. Ow. I know your lot. You're one of the Smiths, ain't you? Why are you friends with that Jenny? Look, you're new. You don't understand. What, that you're ashamed or something? No. Look what just happened to you. Yeah, and you said nothing. You'd rather be ruled by a bully than be yourself. You don't know me. No. And I'm not sure I want to. Look, wait. It's just... I get this, I get this horrible feeling in the pit of my belly whenever Travellers gets brought up. Look, I know what you mean. It's awkward when you have to correct someone on something they think they know about you. But it's like, it's like I get this pressure and I feel even worse if I don't. And it's tiring. It's easier if people just don't know. The thing is, though, they'll never know if we don't tell them. Are you an ex-traveller? <laughs> <laughs> Miss doesn't know anything. It's no wonder people don't know about us. We learn more about fairies and Vikings than we do about travellers in schools. Do you know, Dad told me bits about our history. He told me about those, those Romanies that died in the Holocaust and all those traveller soldiers that fought for the Queen at the war. Miss Buckley's all right, you know. I think we should talk to her about this. What are you doing with her? I've been looking for you. Are you coming or what? Come on, Lizzie. 
Let's go and rock her to Miss Buckley.